Hey, what's up? How you doing? Rumbi here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about sneakers, trainers, crepes, whatever you want to call them. I am a sneakerhead, certified. Although right now, I would say I'm on a hiatus because sneakers are way too expensive. You can never find them and it's just too much energy to try and get a pair of sneakers. So I've just stopped until things change with pricing and how quickly things go. I'm a sneakerhead because I have a collection, but I'm not currently participating. So today I'm gonna show you guys my top 10 sneakers that I own. Sneakers that are in my closet and I am absolutely obsessed with. And I say top 10 because I have way more, but I feel like I cycle through these a lot more often than I do the rest of my shoes. Just so you guys know, I am a sneakerhead who wears all my trainers. There's nothing wrong with sneakerheads out there who love to keep their trainers in a box and never wear them. More power to you. Personally for me, if I buy a new pair of sneakers, I am wearing them and I will wear them till they are torn apart. If you do want me to show you the rest of my shoe collection, I am more than happy to. Just let me know down in the comments below. But for now, we're going to get into these 10 sneakers and I'm going to tell you why I like them and I'll tell you a little bit of a story about how I got them. We're going to start with the Air Max One Milan. This shoe, when I first saw it, I wanted to cry. I mean, the Air Max One is my absolute favorite silhouette. If I had to wear one pair of sneakers for the rest of my life, it would be an Air Max One. <sighs> Just look at it. I mean, I went through hell and back to get these shoes. <laughs> when they first came out, they were sold out within like two hours. I'm actually a UK size six, and I got these in a seven because I couldn't find my size anywhere. I found a Foot Locker on Oxford Street that had them, and this was their final pair, and I took it. Such a vibrant color, paired with such a boring beige, you know, like on its own, you'd think, yeah, I don't really like this color, but I don't know how to explain it. Like, that inside, the pink, it's just, gosh, it's phenomenal. So yeah, just for the fact that this shoe got me so excited, and I could not wait, to see it, to touch it, to wear it, I knew that this was a shoe that had to come with me. So these guys, <laughs> they have seen better days. Look at the sole. Like it's, this is like my absolute favorite pair of shoes. It's my go-to. I wear them everywhere with everything and it makes me so sad to see them like breaking down like this. I don't know if they make these anymore. When I got them, they were already a re-release at the time, so I don't know. I don't know if they'll ever be replaced. They were the first ever pair of Air Maxes that I bought myself. I think I got these when I was like 19. Gosh, that was 10 years ago now. With the shoe being so old and raggedy, I just cannot let go of the fact that this is the very first pair of Air Max ones I owned. This is what began the obsession. I mean, the obsession was already there. I just couldn't afford them at the time. <laughs> but I have them now and I will wear these till there's holes and rips and tears everywhere. Now for the next pair, it's Vapor Maxes. I mean, look at them. They're so bright, they're loud, and they're also very comfortable. This shoe, I got it on a whim. I saw this on a model who was modeling for clothing, but they just so happened to be wearing these shoes, and I was like, hello, where do I get these? It's such a nice silhouette, comfortable, so much attention to detail as well. It's such a great summer shoe. Love wearing it with dresses. You can wear it with whatever and yeah, I love them. Right, the next pair, I call these space boots. I didn't know they existed. I was just browsing the Nike website and they were on sale for like 50 pounds and I was like, why not? I mean, look at them. I don't know much about this shoe. I really don't and I'm not gonna pretend like I do. They're just such a staple for me. Air Forces are such a great silhouette. I think I own about three pairs at the moment and this has to be my favorite one of them all. 
Again, you can tell they've been well worn. The suede is starting to like fray at the front here, but that's okay. You know what? A shoe that is torn and ripped and looks nasty is a loved shoe. Only downside to these shoes is if you know that you're gonna go somewhere where you need to take your shoes off, don't wear them. It takes me like five minutes to put these on because you gotta loop the laces through and then you've got these straps. It's a lot, it's doing too much, but I'm telling you once it's all put together, it looks cute. These are the Nike React Element. I absolutely love this shoe, like I've said about every single other shoe I've already shown you guys. This shoe, I knew I wanted it from the moment I saw it. What I love about these is the cork insole, which just like adds to the extra comfort that you usually get with Nike insoles anyway. This is another shoe that sold out within moments and the only way I was able to buy these were as a resale at a sneaker convention. I think I went to Crep City. Thank goodness I did because I love this shoe. It clearly is a summer shoe. I mean, it's, it's see-through. There's like the mesh. I don't, is this mesh? I don't even know what this is called. It's quite neutral in a way, but then you have these pops of the orange in them and, um, yeah. Do you know what? This is just making me realize that I just need to clean my shoes. They're all very dusty. And I'm sure there are some sneakerheads out there watching this thinking, oh my gosh, girl, why are they so filthy? But like I said, I wear my shoes and I wear them all the time. Here we have the Asics, Asics, I don't know how you pronounce it, Gel Light 3 obsessed with this silhouette this is my only pair of asics asics however you say it and my favorite thing about this shoe is that it has this weird tongue that like opens up like that so you don't have to like pull a tongue out of it it just kind of and i feel like why aren't more shoes like this you know their colorway i think is called raspberry and it actually does have raspberries in the insoles on the inside this, again, is a great running shoe. Comfort, comfort, comfort. Like, this is literally the theme of all my shoes. And then we'll think about the design and the look and whatever. But number one for me, the priority is always comfort. And, ooh, looks like it matches my jumper. I'd never thought of wearing this with these, but I just might. Now we move on to Air Max 97s. They have leopard print insoles and there's this like a strip of leather that's in leopard print as well. These shoes are very special and dear to me. I bought these for my traditional wedding, which was in April of 2019. Our outfits were red and yellow and so when I saw this, I fell in love with it. I was like, girl, gotta get these. These mean a lot to me and I feel like this is also another pair that I'll never let go. I gotta be honest with you, didn't care for Sacconis until I got this pair. I got them because they were on sale. <laughs> That's the honest truth. But oh my gosh, little did I know that I was going to love this shoe. It's just the colorway, the colorway, the colorway, the colorway, the colorway, the colorway, the colorway. Like, th like even, uh, Another pair of shoes that goes with this? You know, I never I never would have put them together, you know. I just found two pairs of shoes I can wear with this now and they were in my closet. These are my gym shoes. And uh, they've only now become gym shoes because they're a booty, basically. I liked these weird bits attached to them and the way that the sole looks like, um, kind of like cork, but not quite. My husband actually bought these for me for Christmas one year. I cannot get rid of them. It's just, nope, cannot do it, cannot do it. I will hold on to these until they are tattered as well. We're on to our final pair. Simple, timeless, the Nike Blazer. These were the first pair of trainers I bought with my own money. They've stood the test of time. And I remember choosing 
very, very carefully because I was worried about the fact that they're suede and with suede, if it's colored, it does fade over time. I remember thinking to myself like, I cannot have this shoe look bad. So it was important to me that I got them in gray because I thought about the degradation process of suede. I'm very proud of myself because at 17, I was worrying about the longevity of my use of this shoe and it's actually held up well to think the shoe is 12 years old and uh, it's still looking pretty good. I'm quite proud of myself. So those are my 10 favorite pairs of trainers. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to let me know which of those 10 shoes that I showed you guys were your favorite and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Apparently, uh, I think I'm a victim.